Hi, and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now, when we talk about SDR, software defined radio, we automatically think about reception of radio waves. However, with a little device like this, we can visualize and even hear sounds in the ultrasonic range using an SDR and an SDR application. Now, this is an extremely small Sisonic MEMS microphone, similar to that that you'd find in a cell phone. Now, there are a few different models and makes of these types of microphones available on the market, but this one is made by Knowles, the model number on the screen now. Now, these have a frequency response of between 10 kHz up to 80 kHz, depending on which model you purchase. Now, this makes them perfect for receiving those ultrasonic sounds emitted from flyby bats just looking where they're going. The MEMS microphone is pretty much a surface mount component, so I got mine already soldered to a small breakout PCB. Now this gave me three connections to use, a ground, a plus three to five volts input, and an analog output. Now this particular MEMS microphone already has a low noise amplifier built in, but you can build yourself an external signal amplifier and audio filters to suit your needs. Now for my tests, I didn't bother with making an external signal amplifier or adding any filtering or DC blocking. I simply connected this microphone to a 3.3 volt supply coming from a little power supply board and then connected the audio output directly to input B on my SDR Play RSPDX SDR receiver. Now this little power supply board came in an Arduino kit a while ago and it can be powered via USB. I did notice that when connected to a computer USB, there was more visible noise on the waterfall of the SDR replication. So I changed this to use an anchor power bank, which is battery powered. Now I just used this little breadboard to make connecting all the wires easy. Of course, if I was serious about this kind of hobby, then I could print a nice little 3D printed case. Now using the SDR software, which in this case will be SDR console, between 10 kilohertz up to around 120 kilohertz, as that's where most of the British bat species emit their radar sounds for echolocation. Obviously, these are outside the frequency range that a human can hear, but this little microphone can pick them up and send those signals to the SDR receiver. With SDR console, I zoomed in to show me around 10 kilohertz up to 120 kilohertz. I also slowed that waterfall speed right down. Now this is so that any ultrasonic sounds that's picked up by the microphone doesn't go whizzing past off the end of the screen and it's so we can see them clearly. So that I could have an audio representation of these sounds, I set the modulation to USB wide and dragged out the bandwidth as much as I could. Now after placing the microphone on my office windowsill, which is located upstairs, I just sat back and waited to see if this would actually work. Well, here are the results.
Now, what's interesting here is that it appears we discovered at least two different species of bats. And the reason I can tell that is not because I'm an avid bat watcher, but according to this chart, different species of bats emit different frequencies. The scale on the screen going from left to right was around 10 kilohertz up to around 100 kilohertz. So anything above 20 kilohertz is out of the frequency range of the human ear, even less for us old folks. Well, there we go, guys, something a little different that you can do with your software defined radio. Of course, your SDR receiver must be able to receive frequencies of between, say, 20 kilohertz up to around 120 kilohertz. Now, the RSPDX from SDR Play does a fantastic job at showing us something and letting us hear something that we would not normally be able to hear or see. Now, let me know down in the comments if you've tried this yourself before or if there's any other SDR projects you think I should check out. Until the next video, stay safe, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.